Why the cursing, Viking? These are the funeral embers of the last of my raiding crew. One by one, they have fallen. It is a heavy loss. There is more. Just days ago, news from Norway tells me my family has been taken by the plague. All of them. All! Viking. My wife, my children. All my pretty ones. It is too much. You must grieve for your loss, friend. I cannot weep. As a raider, I taught myself not to. Could you... Could you give me leave to weep? What do you mean? You are a Vikinger, as am I. Perhaps if you gave me leave... I would water the earth with a storm of tears to soften the pain. Consider me your chieftain. Consider that I command you. Weep, Vikinger. Weep. It is no good. I cannot... I cannot! Oh, God.
wary guest who wants a meal is silent. He listens and looks about. So must a wise man be who searches within himself. me strength. Can't do this alone. Can we get this back to the ship?
Oh, great. Locked from the other side. Forsaken. What are you doing in this dungeon? I devote myself to solitary prayer, to confession and fasting. I have broken the lock. You can leave. But I choose to live this way. I am an anchoress. This is my entire life. Sealed up here. All day and night for life. It is an odd way to worship. I am at complete peace with the world. Can you say as much? How can you be at peace with the world if you live beyond its reach? I know the pain it can inflict. Come outside. Your guard won't be angry for just a few moments. Come. Come. I will follow you. If only to feel the grass beneath my feet. I will repent when I return. I came here after the dark times, pestilence and hunger, the death of my father. It has been years. I wonder what it will be like to once again feel a cool breeze, the warm sun, the scent of lavender. Ah, the world! It is so beautiful! The Earth's beauty renews us. Thank you, stranger! My life begins anew!
We are off thy world, my lord. <laughs> and they're off.
Carry us across seas and fjords! Well, a long way from home, Norseman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my sixty winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all! And you! Make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend! Oh, yes! Bring all! We'll need to repair weapons and shields. But you have no blacksmith. Ah, nonsense! Black Bjorn is about somewhere. He's our man. Arrows! Oh, bring as many as you can. <laughs> Imagine the terror in our enemy's eyes when I hate. Of arrows falls from the blue. Fish, bring them along. We'll have no time to catch more, what with all the pillaging. The crew will be wanting a nice meal. A crew of two, it seems. We're ready to launch out on the roiling sea. Summon Scott, Canute, and the rest of the crew. Blow your horn! Oh, by the gods, will you blow that damn horn? Still be alive. 
The crew fought like heroes. No Saxon survived, just like the old days. Friend, there was no crew. Only you and me. Your Saxons were but mangy wolves. No. Bjorn scarred. They were all here, fighting at my side. <laughs> just as they did in the raids of yore. Gone now. Today you lit their shades on a ghost ship. Your raiding days are done. Your crew feasts in Valhalla. Well, can it, can it, can it be? Hmm. And if so, it was worth it. One last raid. Thank you, my friend. Alvar is an old fool trying to live his dream. But when do we bring in the harvest? Has my father... Here are vigilant. Oh, 
husband come down yet? It's soon time to bring in the home. Yeah! Murdering heathen! Anomaly 4. Bex, you really have to hear this in here. Two voices, definitely Isu. One of them is Alethea, I think. From the staff? Yeah. But I don't think these are contemporary. I feel candid. Accidental. I'll keep trying.
The mad one is away wandering in lands afar. He searches for a way to resurrect his son, asking every leaf and stone for answers. We can use this to our advantage. To steal the seventh, the serum, and the catalyst. It should be ours, for all the suffering he has wrought. Our minds are attuned, love, as sympathetic strings. When the time is right, just right, we go. Feels like it. This is literally the clearest raw memory stream footage we've ever seen from the Izu era. Only question is, who's feeding them to you? I have it. Sending it over. Back on site here.
someone around to handle morally debatable requests. Someone went missing, but today feels like a good day to work. Enjoy yourself. See you, old friend. <laughs> if I find one crack, that statue is as fragile as the rest of my collection and costs more than. I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have, Octavian of London. I've a guess who your friend is, and no. Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert? <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert. A name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. I'll give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is... <laughs> I'll have to take this back to Osbert. See my wares. Finish looking around. Nothing else. I'm off. Be well, friend. Got 
Triple Gate of London. Might find an official worth his salt here. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The love. Hey, Bera, Master Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this bar? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair Dane come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa. <laughs> Dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgos wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. That if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! on your phone. God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of Lunden. A burly name for a burly man. I like one who can hold himself in a brawl. To walk tall in London, a man must know how to swing his fists. It is not empty praise I give. <laughs> well, your candor is appreciated. Take me to your governor's, though. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Aver of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Bura, just past the Western Wars. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reef. 
Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke's an orphan of the last Viking horde put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son, and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? God, no! No, no, no! It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor. God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man, and that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to him. This letter, someone wanted us to see it. From Rome, went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, we must anyone. He governed this bird. Oh dear. What is it? <laughs> A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. I didn't think. He didn't want you to. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. He didn't want you to. It was his secret to keep. Find anything. Besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks. No. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. 
One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was the message. Their footprints leave together, three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The Leeds hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic Temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Well, now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my reef's face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will follow soon. Should the reefs change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. Have a look soon, isn't it? The Temple of Mithras. Well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith.
compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit. in the compass. Healing. Gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I have got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. Knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. <laughs> I'd bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks. Surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places, cut to pieces. Good Lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. And maybe he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. Now. 
This the leech's work. Yeah. New corpses every day. If you are the only target for your people's fear, then they will turn on you. They're scared. If I am to be redeemed, I owe them the leech. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns, same as Trigger's gods. Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Heard from Stowe yet? About the arrow? The leech is my focus just now. Does something worry you? Ah, no, just jacking up on the old sparrow heart. You two are close, like brothers. Yeah, yeah. Close like brothers, you could say. Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. She works for Never a Never told me his name, nor where? where he hammers. Tight-lipped about everything, this stubborn girl. I haven't seen her in two days, and fear the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna, lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith, a missing child. It's a lead with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these ducks. 
Do I look like one who could? What's that song? I know it from somewhere. Let's try and eat it. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Best follow him, see where this leads. After me, can't this clod walk any faster?
Watch for the counter! Won't want you. You got the purse I'm out, huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm a friend, Doya. Your money is with your lad. What have you to do with him? I'm keeping him safe. Had a fear he was being followed. Tch, I knew he was soft. Not like my other girl. She was hard as hog's breath, that one. What happened to her? Fell ill a few days back. So I sent her to good Sister Friedeswith. Healer in town. Sister Friedeswith? Got broken bones? A boil on your bum? Or too much birth blood? She'll mend you quick. She would need a broad set of tools for such work. She would. And she has it. Comes to me for all her wants, and I craft for her what she needs. Not anymore, you don't. Alarm! We are being raided! Your turn! We'll wear you out, Nithing!
soon and guide me. Hey, <gasps> Fallas! Let's praise my hood here. This is where the leech dissects her prey.
One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The Ancient Ones, the Arbiters, they built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break, so difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger, faster, smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frida Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? It is done. Ah! The leech is blared out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Frida's with. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> Gods! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida's with. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tongue. Is that the right call? Too many died for this book. It is not worth its weight in blood. You're right. It would be like plucking straw from shit. Too much bad with the good. Odin and Freya weigh the worth of our lives, not some cunt in a wimple. Aye, get rid of it then, and tell no one of this. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca.
Let's see the scene here. The hood should work. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Frida Swiss. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favorite saint, what hope do we have? Any noise yet about the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor! What was your impression of Erke? Erke has been a great help. Why doubt him now? Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor.
seen them around my mum's house. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor, a Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed! All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows long! A cheat! A cheat! It was a fair shot! Carry on! Eivor leads to victory! That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders! stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse. You'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! Get 
unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? I can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition, greed, anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot, but from many it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort, but glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down, only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready. Expecting the worst. I do not want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broga. on you! It's a ruse, I tell you! It's them that killed Trigir and shifted the blame! Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. It is about time you found each other. Stop tiptoeing around it. Yes, I've found Stowe and he's found me. And, uh, and here we are, together. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let us go over all that has happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother in arms. He wanted Lunden for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Frieswith. She was the leech, and the city was her meat market. Your bishop has already issued an apology on behalf of the church. It is time we focused on the compass, gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart, cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river Rip to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well, this one's got the gift of all in meat. What is on your mind, though? We know the compass is a sailor, 
a captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up! You find a way out! <coughs> Evil! Make for the steeple! The road's still spun for us, my stuff. We've many years yet. Come on! the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springwoods at Avgos built, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I will go my own way. Less danger to you both. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Godspeed, my friends!
need your eyes. Will none of you lift a finger to aid your master? Die, pig! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Udika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, 
I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the rights to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. I hear you. What is wrong? Thank the gods! I wanted to get the new shipment done early, and accidentally boxed myself in. If that is all, I can get you out. Not so fast. Avoid breaking the jars. The sauce is delicious, but smells like a sun-soaked fish barge. Each quite Fairfax. Please, make a path through the jars so I can get out. And, and don't break any. The smell is awful. If there's a way there, so. Come on, there's a way there. Yes, what's good? Who's been Tima Mahers? Oh, no. What? Oh, 
through his balls. That is foul. <sighs> Gods, you've unblocked me. You've given me my f freedom, but at great cost. Still, you have my thanks.
Shen. Du mein die so eine Richtung Ist das Jenode? attention here. Thank you, friend. Truth! Truth and love have been shackled by these dogs of the regime! Justice will be served, and my tale will be told! Isn't it? Kid? Anyone? You don't you disagree with the trip. terms of your captivity. If love be a crime, then yes, I do. But I'm only guilty of such a boon. Me, Keener Wolf of the Gleeman. I see. And whose wife did you bet? Oh, the guard captains. And the alewife Luger. And he's an ace muse. But who am I to deny women my company? Hmm? A scoundrel and a poor friend. That may be so, but this scoundrel will play naught but the sweetest music for his freedom. You understand? I, Kine Wolf, have been freed from my bondage and am eternally in your debt. Make good use of your freedom then. Apologize to your friends and stay out of trouble. Okay. 
leaving your hair in that way, that's a way. I'm born as a hummus, but you sit on the
won't be gentle of this puppy. What can I tempt you with? Always good to have. I can always use more of that. Take care of yourself out there. You should always be fully stoned. This would look very fetching. Wonderful. I hope to see you again soon. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
looking for a worthy challenger. What is it? Do you enjoy flighting? Lobbing insults at one another? I am familiar. Then I challenge you. But be warned, this flighting's like none you've ever known. How is that? For this jewel of flighting, intent is reversed. All rudeness is flattery, a blessing, a curse. So if you seek to harm me, then simply be kind. What a lovely request, from a very sharp mind. How charming! Shall we bet? Here's my wager. After you, friend. I stand here in awe at the charm of your face. You're the picture of elegance. Beauty and grace. Well done. I was wrapped with excitement when you came along. Oh, your valor's the subject of story and song. You're wonderful. You've such a great talent for flighting and rhyme. It is truly a pleasure. My partner's sublime. You're such a talent. This flighting's been lovely. A wonderful time. You're skilled with your rhythm, as well as your rhyme. It's been a true joy to take a moment away from London's troubles and trials. You've more than earned this.
Would like to see what you have in stock. I do good work, I must say. I have to go. See you soon. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. What do you have today? Have you got a contract for- Not only- There will be- A- Solo- <laughs> Greetings! You go- Good to see you, darling. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I should talk to Hytham. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. 
The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. Ah, oh, look at you, Tui. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. He's got him here in England. Is he another bludge on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you. After I silence got him. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There's no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I will speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I will go now. And end the life of Goran Kjotvison where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you! I must take my leave. 
Allez, Evo. You really think flighting can compare to sagas, to true poetry? Compare? I think it conquers it. Survey the area, Sudan. Eivor. Are you the man in two? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. I do. What do you see, Sunan? Baker is done, Tobin. And our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There's no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people... When kindnesses are few and far be... A grain merchant... A... I can lend a hand. That's a relief. Tarbin, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my sir. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. W what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? 
He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trade. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me? That brings me joy. But that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Tobin. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Show me what lies ahead. Generous one. Need something? Good day to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I'm Eivor. Randvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Randvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you will be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp. And it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. Say the word, and we are off. I will leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now.
three cold weeks in the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Goron Kjotvison. The son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? Someone in charge. I had better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us? You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildi! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, he says, not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gorm is. Place that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, <laughs> dumb brain.
fine honey me to have. Pour me a horn, would you? I had aim for you, Owl, but no meat. What? You beat Olaf back. We had a whole cast him and locked him away in this forest. You know why? Right there in the storm. Because Olaf stole from Grom and got caught. I am sunny with this place. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more. Smashed crates. Somebody crawled off, left a trail of blood. Got him storehouse. A good place to start. Finding Olaf may be the key to finding more. At least a helpful ally. Someone broke through here, made quite a mess. Could be Olaf went this way. Footprints. Might be Olaf's. This trail leads to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. What do you see? Such a place. Quiet. And not a stone building in sight. Gods. Never have I seen such a place. Quiet. And not a stone building in sight. Those two carry themselves like leaders. It is worth Friends, do you, do, do we understand one another? Oya ganya terake heronu, joknohoda tigade igerungwe. Do any of you speak Norse or Saxon? Zatsa degwat gigerungwe, yate tsidewayanderi, yate yungwe herize onanzini toditni gohra di hantos ne gaa. Giga o zidaa, wahu na daro ne kigarungwe, tigade na ne e. This is Sunin. Her name means insight. Yanja dahawe giga, zinue oya ganyatara keronu itres, danu ahinasku. Ahoya dagenha toka ahu na darohage giga. Sunin, you made us some friends. These huts and clouds. Am I in Midgard still? Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatera keheronu brodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Nine days, you hear me? There is a language I know well, but the words are mind sick. Zatunde gantiga, roja datkum, zatsetsant doga askweni, tone era anja da hawite nega. And I threw my eye in the well. This wisdom. Sounds like the ranting of the seer. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. 
Call it the unlucky, but don't you believe it. And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick. What? Do not stab me from behind, Trengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I am not here to kill you. I have come for Gorham. N not, not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor. And Gorham owes me a great debt. Let us leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Something happened between you and Gorm. Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away. Far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching and never finding the mean, mean backrot. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olaf, will you tell me something? Anything Olaf can tell, Olaf will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gordon cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal. It is true. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. <laughs> but my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <sighs> Look! Out across the river! One of Gorm's camps. All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You're not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olaver will help. Gather ore and heights to barter for war gear. Ore and heights? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps than traded all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I do not understand their language. Can you translate for me? <laughs> no need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wares. It's gone, oh. Neon hot a joy under there. Joy under there, Dino Honda was their dog. O ten on gun does a do hunzoni? I will see you later, friend. I 
can hike into the woods, straight for Gotham, prepare the raw materials, and trade for better weapons. Time to fight the point. you back to New Haven. A tall ask for a corpse. You have some weight on you. to me. You have always been too selfish, reckless. Even Mother said so. Blame not the adventurer, for the pool of blood song can tempt even the gods. Where do I go now, without you to guide? Remember your brother and all that. Bring home his tales and let his legacy be grown. I will hone my bowcraft, and he will smile upon me for bringing him back. Thank you. I'm going to be the best hunter ever. Just like you, brother. Wait and see. I will shoot that elk in the eye. 